Morning, it's the old fart again, around my daughter's house, doing a few jobs for her. Now, a couple of you have mentioned uh, uh, the building or the construction opposite the house. Let me show you. Cheers then. Look at that. That's where I got my uh, idea from for the... Uh, this, uh, the the head cam, good isn't it? Now this is a water tower, and I, uh, as I've shown you in other videos, of uh, this is where I was brought up at my daughter's place, oh. and I used to look out my front window, and I'd be about 11 years old when this was built, so it's going on for 50 years old. This. It's well over 100 foot high uh, without the aerials, so they must be another 30 foot. So about 130 foot high. Uh, it's a water tower. And when I was a kid, I can remember all the scaffolding around this and all the men walking around with uh, wheelbarrows full of concrete filling that up. No mechanical assistance, just I don't know how they got it up there, I must have winched it up somehow, I can't remember. But the pounding that they made when they were digging into the ground, because apparently it goes down as high as it goes up. So it's quite an interesting feature, I suppose. Blocks all the satellite around here, but still. And uh, at the top, they've got uh, all the phone tele telecommunications. That's just recently, really, I suppose, in the last 10 years. Anyway, one or two of us uh, wondering what this was, anyway. Carry on uh, with this part, this vlog later on. I've quite Hi a bit there. Uh, it's me again. I've had a request. It's a bit of a request uh, thingy with Bob vlog today. Uh, one wanted to have a look at the water tower, which I've done, and I had another request to have a look around the yam, uh, the diversion. So here she blows. My diversion. I've had it for about four years. It's getting really tatty now. To be honest, it's not loved very much. I had a, a gold wing before I had this, um, a 1983 gold wing GL1100, which I absolutely adored. And I was just about to uh, take it for an MOT and took a few panels off and uh, found out that the frame was all rotted through. So uh, that uh, was quickly dismantled and I sold it on eBay and I got about a grand for the uh, for the bits and bobs, so I weren't, I weren't too unruffled about that. I was just sad uh, losing the damn thing, really. But in my hurry, I can't do without a motorbike. Jesus, how can you do without a motorbike? So I bought this on eBay, I didn't even look at the bloody thing. Just read the reviews, how reliable they were, etc, etc. So this was it. This is where I bought it. And... Like I say, it's not very exciting, I don't think, anyway. I mean, I'll probably upset a, a lot of diversion lovers, but I ain't all that keen. Um, I bought a new chain and sprocket and fitted those. I do all my work myself. So I did that, put a new chain and, and sprocket on the front. Um, the wing mirrors, uh, they started twizzling around and I ain't paying a load of bloody money for that. I couldn't get it to work so I just bung some crap on the end to stop it from twizzling. Put some tape on that so it's about ratified really I suppose. Um, the discs, I don't know whether they're worn, worn out or not but they're going, there's some ridges on them but it, it went through the MOT but I've got another MOT at the end of, uh, of August so uh, I don't know whether it'll get through. Um, also the exhaust pipe, that's not brilliant. And you see that, I've had to budge it up with that, uh, that stuff. So it's a bit of a, this is why I was saying, I don't know whether to turn it into a, a mouse bike, as I said in my last uh, vlog. But I can't do without it, because when it rains, the pan don't go out, so... Uh, that's it basically. I mean, how many miles has it done? Uh, 
4,304. I mean, a ride it a lot, it goes. Um, these are old relics from me under. I put a uh, voltmeter just to remind me of the my dear old uh, Honda. I love that Honda uh, Goldwing. So I just whipped it off and stuck them in there. I bought a box off Tinternet. I think it costs about 40 quid. It's not a potion, but put my sandwiches in when I go work. Yeah, it's not loved. It's not loved, but there you go. Anyway, that's a run round of the diversion. Before I go on uh, this vlog, it's a bit more serious than normal. This is unusual for me. But, uh, yeah, I'll keep it straight out then. Uh, I've been getting a lot of subscriptions just lately. Well, a lot for me. Uh, they keep uh, rattling along quite nicely, and I thank you for that. I really love them, and I'll try and answer any uh, comments or uh, messages, whatever they call them, SMs. Uh, but in the meantime, I just wondered uh, if you don't mind, if you could let me have your name, just your first name, if it's not a secret, because uh, uh, being an old fart, I, I work on names, and I ain't, I ain't very good at. Can't remember bloody names, but. Uh, you know when you come through and it's such and such biker Joe from I don't know biker Joe Bill or whatever it is. I I don't get it really. I can't, I can't relate. Uh, it'd be nice if you don't mind just you know just give us your name. It'd be great. I'll put it on a piece of paper or something so I don't forget it. Anyway, that's it for me vlog today. It's not a very big one, but uh, uh, I'm glad you I'm glad you like my vlogs because I really enjoy doing them. Uh, any road up, it's bye from me, and uh, ride safe.